If you are bored of using a terminal on macOS or Linux and the command prompt on Windows, then try edX UI. It's an amazing full-screen cross-platform terminal emulator and system monitor that looks and feels like a SkyFi computer interface. All right, as you can see, this is the user interface of edX UI. It's fully featured terminal emulator with tabs, colors, mouse events, and support for courses and courses like applications. It's a complete application package that goes full screen. It shows the real-time system usage of CPU, RAM, swap, and system processes. Now on the left side of the application, you can see the clock and system information. In the center, you can see the shell where you type the commands. It offers up to five tabs so that you can run multiple commands at the same time. On the right, you can see a network status that shows information about the IP address and network interface. You can also see the globe animation and the network traffic in real time. To the bottom, you can see the on-screen keyboard. If your computer is touchscreen based, it could be very useful. Also, when you type something on your physical keyboard, it mimics the keystrokes, which is a nice touch to have. It's time to talk about customization. To the bottom left, you can see the file system. Now, what we are looking at here is the themes folder. It offers a few themes that change the entire look of the edX UI. Just select the theme you fancy and tap on it to apply. As soon as you are done applying the theme, the app UI will restart. Overall, I would say edX UI is a nice replacement for the standard terminal on Linux and Mac and the command prompt on Windows computers. Now, as of now, the developer of this application has archived the project on GitHub and has stopped the development of this build. Now, keep in mind, this application has many bugs and eats a lot of system resources. When I tried it on my Intel-based MacBook Pro, it tends to heat a lot while it was running in the background, which indeed drained the battery faster. It runs pretty well on desktop workstations. Now, apart from this, you can still try edX UI on your computer without any issues. Now, anyway, if you want to install edX UI on your computer, head over to this GitHub page and download it for your computer based on the OS it's running. For now, I'm using an Apple Silicon Mac. I'm going to download the Mac OS X64 variant. Once it's done downloading, open the DMG and drag it to the applications folder. If you're installing it on a Linux computer, download the app image and make it executable by changing its permissions. For Windows, just run the executable file to install. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next one.